Hello and welcome to our channel. Hi. I, I'm Max. I'm Alex. And and we're back. We are back, yes. So today we are on our pre-travel day, aren't we? Pre-travel day. Uh, we are currently just heading to Manchester Airport where we are going to stay at the Radisson Blue tonight and then tomorrow we are catching a, a flight with Virgin Atlantic to Disney World! Ba, 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 ba. You Woo. can tell we are, we got fresh haircuts, we got fresh new haircuts. shoes on. Yeah, got the suitcases all packed in the back. Yeah. We have got to make a detour to Boots though because Max's shaver has decided to die. Well, yeah, the we seem to have lost the charging cable for it, haven't we? So, um, we did order a new replacement, but that doesn't work, does it? So, doesn't work. time to buy a new razor. New razor. Um, so yeah, just picking one of them up on the way, probably and, grab a and bite to eat and... Eat to bite? A, a little drink? A little Starbucks. Starbucks acquired. We are officially on the way to the airport! Yummy. Woo! Exciting times. Lane number. Did it have a lane number? It says lane number. <gasps> What's the lane number? No. Oh no, does it mean when you've parked? Maybe. Ooh. Ooh, this is steep. It's like a roller coaster. It's like being on test track. <laughs> Don't get told off this time by picking a wrong lane. Lane 23. Oh, these are very tight. Same. Well done. Let's go. Here we go. Doors open. <laughs> Alex is running with a flat. <laughs> Turn it on its side or something. I'm very hot. <laughs> you seem very flustered. View actually, it is a good view. yeah, really not too bad. See the control tower. <laughs> We've parked quite far away. We've just walked oh, a long way. There is a drop and go. You yeah, can just see it in the discount in the distance. Well, yeah, I mean, when you say. A long walk, it was like, what? About an hour? Ten minutes. So she did say you could catch a bus from the drop and go to Terminal 2 and then the Radisson Blue entrances on between the sky walkways and it between Terminal uh, 2 and one. 1. Yeah. So the drop and go is actually linked to Terminal 3. So what we did was walked from the drop and go to Terminal 3 and then you have to walk outside and follow the signs from Terminal 3 to Terminal 1 where then we went and joined the Skylink and then walked obviously half of the Skylink to the Radisson Blue. You go in the world's biggest lifts to level 7. Yeah, there's Alex's flat tyre. 
sad times. Welcome to our premium class room here at the Radisson Blue Manchester Airport. We're in room 854 and there is one Alexander. Welcome on in. Hello, hello. So as soon as you come in here on the right, you've got the bathroom. So it's quite a spacious bathroom actually. Really massive, huge mirror. Um, really huge walk-in shower um, with a nice big uh, rainfall shower head there and um, some little amenities there and um, some tissues <gasps> and you nearly dropped my head <laughs> toilet the bin and the sink some big fluffy towels and some glasses uh, across from the toilet you've got um, quite a big double wardrobe We've got some robes, an iron, Ooh. coat hangers. Ooh, we've got three robes. Let them see the coat hangers. Sorry. Coat see hangers. The Extra towels. Uh, ironing board, trouser press, luggage rack, safe, Bible, slippers, slippers laundry bag, and a little drawer in there. Did you mention the hair dryer in there? Um, I don't think I did. There is a hairdryer. Oh yeah, there is a hairdryer in there. Just in this little bag. There you go. And this cupboard is big enough to fit in as well. Back in the closet. Right. Um, here is coffee machine, kettle, uh, two free waters, a little oh, coffee station. We should have bought some real milk. <laughs> I hate them little milk things. Some milk. In here you've got a fridge. Oh, slosh mini bar. Free. It is not free, don't you dare touch anything in there, otherwise you are paying for it. Here we've got the main bedroom. So absolutely ginormous bed. What size bed is that? I don't even know. Because there's no... Oh no, it is two beds together. Two singles. Yeah. There you go. Alex is down for the night. A uh, little bedside table with the phone, plug, USB charger, USB port even. Big seat, a footstool, absolutely ginormous window with a runway view. This is the best view in the world. Not just me. <laughs> but just sit here watching the planes. Yeah. That's what you do, isn't it, day and night whilst you're here? Yeah. Um, a nice writing desk with a chair, a lamp, uh, another phone, um, some plugs, um, European plug and obviously a UK plug. Big TV. There's the door to the adjoining room. Can we appreciate the artwork? And a big floor length mirror right there. And then Alex wants to appreciate the artwork. <laughs> I mean, it's very reflective currently. But yeah, very cute. Oh, also, I forgot to mention there is little reading lights just here under the thing for you to sit and read. I do love these rooms. Yeah, they are good. Very plain. Very plain. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like you can be saying that a lot. We've just chilled for a few hours, haven't we? Yes. We're all settled in now. We've got our cups of teas. I've just drank mine. Max went down to reception to get some real milk, not the little milk. Yeah, although I ended up having to go just along the skywalk to the Cafe Nero. Oh! See, that really confused me. That confused me as to why you came back with milk in a Cafe Nero cup. Because right. I bought two bottles of water and said to the woman behind the counter, really strange request, sorry, but do you mind if I have a cup of milk? She's like, yeah, not a problem. And literally poured me a medium-sized Cafe Nero cup full to the brim <laughs> of milk. <laughs> so I was then like trying to carry this full to the brim cup of milk back all the way to my room. Yeah. Oh, well done. Thanks, so, Cafe Nero. Yeah, thank you very much. We'll do a little, not a summary, what's the word? Itinerary. Itinerary, that's the word. We'll go through an itinerary of 
what we're getting up to on this 17 night trip. Go. <laughs> so we are currently at the Radisson Blue in Manchester Airport. We are stopping here tonight until we wake up tomorrow morning and then we walk along to the actual airport terminal too and we check in for a flight to Orlando with Virgin Atlantic. It's currently 36 degrees there when we land, so that's hella hot. Yeah. Um, we're staying two nights at Old Key West, aren't we? Yeah, using DVC rental, rental store. Yeah. Um, five nights at the Grand Floridian. Bougie. Bougie, because I'm very excited to see the new Mary Poppins rooms. Five nights at Pop Century. And then six nights at Saratoga Springs. So we're doing a little resort hopping, four different resorts, 17 nights stay, which I'm excited for because I've never stayed at Old Key West before, never stayed at Pop Century, never stayed at Saratoga Springs. Yeah. And the thing is with going for like two and a bit weeks is you get to factor in a lot more resort days and chill days, don't yeah. you, rather than just... Parks, 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 yeah. parks. And I love um, the resort days, just chilling, exploring. And the thing I'm looking forward to Saratoga Springs is it's right within walking distance of Disney Springs. Yeah. And there's a new drone show starting while we're there. There is. So I'm hoping we can see that from our resort. Fingers crossed. We'll have to see. Fingers crossed. That's our little itinerary. Yeah. We are also going over to Universal, aren't we? Once yeah. We're there just one day. Time. Just one little day. Oh, and I hope that we can go to the Kennedy Space Center as well. I really want to do that. Okay. So I was thinking like the last week that we're there, maybe look at hiring a car. Yeah. I'm going to the Kennedy Space Center. That might happen in my not. You'll okay. see if it does. Yeah. So there's our little itinerary. We're going to go get some food now from the restaurant, aren't we? We are indeed. Because we did look at the restaurant um, room service menu, but nothing was really... Screaming. Yeah. Tickling the pickle, was it? So Come on, tickling the pickle. So we're back in the corridor. <laughs> we're back in the corridor. We didn't really film, well, we didn't film the restaurant because it was a really awkward layout. It was like the tables of two, two, two all sat and together. And you're all sat next to each other. And I'm not that confident to vlog any, oh, to vlog like that. And we're back in the room. I will say that restaurant is very expensive. The college restaurant I bought the receipt because I was like, what? £97 and two pence. Yes, but we did have a total of three starters. I had a salad. Yeah, with three starters. A few lettuce leaves you had and a, a glass, chicken. You had a glass of wine and I had a cocktail. And I had a fish and chips. £97. That's it for our pre-travel day. It's not been very long or yeah. exciting, but... I think you're a bit knackered, aren't you? Yeah, I was on nights last night, so I work shifts, um, so I finished at 6am this morning, came home, had a couple of hours sleep, woke up, packed, got the cars ready and came out. Came so. here, yeah, so you've not had much sleep. But tomorrow is our actual travel day, Woo very exciting, so we'll be up bright and early. Um, we're booked into the 19... 03 Lounge, I think it's called, at Manchester Airport. So we'll show you that if we can. I don't know how the lounges are with filming, but if we can show you, we'll show you. Um, and then we're flying with Virgin Atlantic tomorrow, as we mentioned, at 1.25 on their Airbus A350. Premium economy. In premium economy. And I've just looked on flight radar, and I think it's one of Virgin's brand new planes that we're flying on. So I'm very excited. You like your airplane. I do. Love them. We're going to have a good night's sleep now, and we will see you in about three seconds. Good night. Night. Good morning. Morning. Welcome to the official travel day. It's travel day. Whoop, 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 We're all packed, ready, yeah. showered, had our morning coffees. Dressed. That's a good thing. <laughs> yes. We're ready to go. Like Alex mentioned, we are booked into the 1903 lounge. Um, so we are literally just about to set off from the Man Radisson Blue, aren't we? Yeah. Um, walk along the Skywalk to Terminal 2 and check in. I needed to mention, last night I said about the bill being at 
90 odd pounds. If you register for Radisson Blue Rewards, I think it is, you get 10% off the bill. Yes. But and that still came to £94 with 10% off. But that also includes a service charge. Yeah, so then they had a 10% service charge on top. So, so yeah. there we go. Let's anyway, go. let's go. Well done. I just carry my number one case. There was no queue at all. Don't we need to be waiting Smith for sweets? Probably, yes. Um, Let's go in. So, yeah, we used the new security machines, didn't we? Um, and absolutely flew through, so you leave yeah. everything in your bag. Your laptop, your liquids. power bank, liquids. Um, all you have to do is empty your pockets. And they, they didn't like my shoes, though. I had to put my shoes on a special machine, and then I got searched. Alex is Converse for you, everybody. So we're just uh, now going to have a quick look around duty free and pick up some sweets for the cabin crew. Yes, I did buy a load of bags from Tesco and I've left them at home. So now I'm going to pay like 30 quid for one bag of sweets at the airport. That means we get to eat them when we get home. Woohoo! We've arrived at the lounge. Got our food. Now, if you want a piece of toast. If you want a piece of toast. <laughs> piece of toast. You have to pick up your bit of bread and give it to a member of staff so the kitchen can toast it. <laughs> You're not allowed to toast your bread. <laughs> I think too many people are burning themselves or setting up the smoke alarm. I think so as well. <laughs> no. Our date has been called. Yeah, we're on the way now. 204. We didn't really film any of the lounge because it was quite busy, but quiet, and I didn't want to just like stand there. You get a bit vlog conscious, don't you? I do currently. I'm all right once I'm in Disney, but I think people think you're a bit weird when you're walking around an airport with a camera. <laughs> I'll get there, I'll get there. <laughs> no, you're not by the window. This is my seat. Are you sure? Sorry. I'm sure this is my seat. You got shoved. <laughs> we are on board. We are. This plane is only a month and a half old. It's brand new. Brand new. Baby plane. Baby I love it. Let me show you. Big screen. Garlic orange juices. Little OJ. flight we had a lot of trouble trying to connect to the Wi-Fi but this one I've connected within what a couple of minutes yeah so you just go onto the Wi-Fi click Virgin Atlantic then this page will appear click get online accept the cookies and then there's 
three options. So 299 for messaging. Uh, la, 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 la. That's for the entire flight. No videos or photos. Wi-Fi light, which is one hour browsing, or Wi-Fi max, which is 2099. Max by name, max by nature, exactly. And then when you enter your details, you get the option for Apple Pay or enter your card details. Done. They're just coming around with the food. I'll just show you the menu. We have Moroccan hummus to start, and then a choice of breaded chicken, pork chili, or truffle macaroni cheese. And then dessert is lemon posse. And then cheese. And I'm watching Mean Girls. Lunch has arrived. It looks really nice. Really tasty. Let me show you what we got. So, da -da -da. starter, some kind of hummus thing. It was. Bread roll. Oh, we'll actually give you the proper word. Moroccan hummus with herbed grains, zesty olives, and sun dried tomatoes. Delicious. Mains. So mains. We've got breaded chicken with a light garlic butter sauce, wilted greens, and crushed new potatoes. Mm, delicious. Dessert, we've got lemon posset. Uh, bread roll and then cheese bread and roll. crackers, cheese which is crackers. red fox, Somerset camembert with grapes and crackers. I got a glass of white wine, water, and I got three. Pinch me. So we've got an hour and 52 minutes left. They're just about to come round with afternoon tea, aren't they? they are. We've just watched The Colour Purple, is it called? Yeah. Simultaneously press play. Play, play. <laughs> So you press play, I press play, three, two, one, go! Yes. It was good. I cried. You did? I did cry at the end. So I thought I'd give you a little seat tour because we haven't done that yet. So, screen, huge, really responsive. We've watched Colour Purple and Mean Girls, and you've got a USB port and a jack for your headphones. You got two universal chargers there. A little pocket for storing your things. Cable comes out of here. Press this little button. Ooh. Afternoon tea has arrived. I've gone for the picnic one, which has got a quiche, chicken quiche, crayfish, something, turmeric bread, and chicken coffee. Oh, that's better. We've got the menu. Oh yeah, pork chicken and parsley on turmeric bread. And then Max has got the traditional afternoon tea. Mile high tea. Mile high tea. Fingers on mozzarella and roasted tomato with rocket and cream cheese and cheese popper. And then a raspberry and rose battenberg and a blackberry and bay macaron. Lovely. With a warm cottage cream and strawberry scone. And two coffees.
Thunder, where the yellow Kutam here is fast approaching 25 past 5 in the afternoon. Please. There's no one in front of us. <laughs> we first off the plane. We're first off the plane. Hi! Hi. Welcome to Orlando Airport. We're off the plane. We were first through immigration. Very front of the queue. Yeah. Max left his airpods on the plane, so that caused the drama. People screaming at him, you've left your airpods. Ah. But I got them back, that's the main thing. I'm struggling with these cases. I'll push these I've lost dogs. a wheel, as we all know. So, case is acquired, and now we're on our way to Mia's Connect. Plunk, 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 it is. Cheers. Oh, Key West. We've arrived! Woohoo! Ah! This is pretty. Check it. Ooh. We're all checked in. We're now we're walking to our building, which is just across the road. So there's the reception area and stuff. And we are just in these buildings here. Two, four, 14 this way. Two, four, one, three, two, four, 14. Come on back. Uh, come on in. Ah, welcome. Welcome home, Slam and Birkin. Welcome home. What's our view? Oh, the football field. How do I get out? Oh wow, it's hot. Oh, this is well pretty. Yeah. Cute. What I need, I need a rocking chair. I know. <laughs> I need a rocking chair here on my porch. And I can go, get, get off, off my, my porch. So that's that. Lovely. What else have we got? Oh, a kitchenette. Hang on. I feel like we need to do a proper room tour rather than just blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay, so welcome to our Old Key West Resort room tour. We are currently staying in building 24, room 14, so our room number is 2414. And as you come in, you are greeted by the two absolutely massive beds and an Alexander Slan that's just run out of frame. And then there's a huge giant window uh, there, currently looks out onto the car park. In between the two beds, you've got your phone, Ooh. Oh. a plug and USB-C, US, no USB charger, um, outlet, your Hey Disney, um, a drawer with Bible, and another drawer there, and then some light switch, and some Mickey having a good time on a beach. <laughs> The bed's comfy, Alex. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as Alex has already shown you, you got a oh, little patio here with two like tables and chairs. This is the biggest balcony we've had, isn't it? I know it's I know it's not balcony, but it it's like the same it's the same upstairs. You get me? Yeah, you get a good little balcony space. 
I don't know, I think probably because it's square, it's not as wide, but it's obviously deep. Then you've got a little table and chairs there. Some, some more artwork there with a lamp. And then here you've got a little Story. chest of drawers. TV. DVD player. Is that a DVD player? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's DVD player. Yeah. Well, there you go. And then through here we've got a little wardrobe here. Um, with an ironing board, safe, luggage rack, iron, coat hangers. Oh, vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. I don't think we've ever had a vacuum cleaner before, have we? Mm, no. No, some more coat hangers there as well. Then this side, we've got a little kitchenette. So we've got a fridge. Is that on? And a freezer. And yeah. a freezer. That's frozen. Good. A little cupboard under the sink with a bin, trash can if you're American, kitchen roll, tea towel, liquid and a little sponge. Tea towel, a little sink, it's quite a mini sink actually. Um, some cups and some hot cups. I don't agree with this plasticness. Plastic cutlery, wrapped in plastic. Plastic, plastic. Uh, up there we've got some plastic bowls and plastic plates. Is that an ice bucket? Yeah. Yeah, an ice bucket. Again. Microwave or microwave. The best coffee that there is. Yeah, a little Joffrey's. coffee. A little mini toaster. I mean, I don't know how big of a piece of bread you can fit in that. Uh, sweetness, sugars, creamer, and your coffee machine. Mm. And through here, oh, you've got the bathroom, a really huge full length mirror here on the door. Um, the bath and shower there, quite a nice big shower head. We've got the non H2O H2O products, the washing line as per most Disney hotel rooms. Obviously, we've got the toilet. Another little trash can, and then the sink area with another nice big mirror actually, really nice big mirror, and then some more storage under there with some facial tissues, loo roll, and a hair dryer. So that's the uh, Old Key West re resort room tour. Ah, Celsius. <laughs> Problems of being British in America. <laughs> I really like it. We've never stayed here before. Um, this is a DVC resort, which we've booked through DVC rental store for two nights. Yeah. And I really like it. Yeah. It, from what I've seen like of the reception and everything, it's really nice, but we'll go and have a, a walk down there now. Yeah. And I really like that balcony. Yeah, it's nice. I just need a rocking chair. <laughs> Don't think I can find one of them, sorry. Mm. Let's go mm. get our refillable monks. Yes. I love the colours. Yeah. One. Mint chop chip ice cream. Yeah. What's this chip chop ice cream colour? <gasps> Lizard! Thank you. Hello. Hi. Welcome home. We've made it into the store. <laughs> but look at these that we found. Egg and pancake mould. Happy fried egg in a yeah. Mickey shape. Cake mould. Cake mould. Hand up packs. Hand all covers. I like them. Yeah. Yeah. How much are they? Free. Free, amazing. 44.99. Mm. They're nice. Yeah. Oh, were they the vineyard vines that I thought was a wine shop? Yes. Yes. We're trying to find refillable mugs, but I don't know if they sell them in this store. Oh, they're there. But where's, where's the refillable mug station? It'd be in the restaurant, wouldn't it? Well, then in the shop. Can I have blue? Oh, 
don't think I've got much choice, does it? Well, you can have pink, orange, or green. Which one do you want? Do you want a banana bread for $7.29? Which is your favourite? I don't know. Didn't you say last time you didn't see the orange and you wanted orange? Yeah, but I think I want green now that I'm here. Bit brighter than you face that, aren't you? Mm. Mm. As you know, every new resort we stay in, we need a pin for it. Mm. Is it? Oh no, that's DVC. Nope. <gasps> mm. Oh no. Are these all magic buns? Oh no. Yeah. I can't remember what I've filmed and what I haven't. <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah. Today, travel day and pre-travel day, I feel like it's been really messy. And now I'm here, I'm like getting into the vlogging this. <laughs> so well, we've just gone today. back to like the main hub, haven't we? We've picked up some food from Olivia's to go. Yes. Um, we ordered the kids, kids <laughs> grilled chicken which comes with loads of different options to have, like rice, mash, fries, fries, gravy, veg. So we've ordered fruit pots. Fruit pots. So we've ordered two kids' chickens, grilled chickens, with mash, gravy, and green beans. Yeah. Um, and picked up our refillable mugs. Refillable mugs. So that will do us now until obviously the end of the holiday. Yeah. So we're heading back to the room to eat our kids' meals. Yeah. Here's my kids grilled chicken with mash and green beans. That was, what, 11 99 I think it was 11 99 And, yeah. I'm done. Travel day done with. Travel day done. Whew. That meal was delicious. It was actually very delicious. Really, really and tasty. A really good portion size even for an adult. Yeah, yeah so, so kid sizes. If you're not massively hungry, kid sizes. We're ending the vlog now. I hope you've enjoyed the travel day slash pre-travel day. I don't know if it's been a bit bitty. I don't know what <laughs> I've really filmed. We didn't really film too much on the plane. Um, but yeah, generally, all in all, it was a smooth flight wasn't it i said i much prefer getting the later flight so we normally get the like 10 o'clock flight from manchester which gets in a lot earlier but this flight was at 1 25 and i feel like we've we've done well for trying to get over jet lag because we've arrived later we've gone straight for some food and it's now what time is it nine o'clock or something mm, nine o'clock nine o'clock so we'll be getting ready for bed as normal so I feel like that's a lot better. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Magic Kingdom. Have to do Magic Kingdom on day one. You have to. So join us for Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe. Bye. Bye.